Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Matrix Awakens demo once again. Now, a lot of people right now are getting so confused determining what is real and what isn't. Well, maybe I can help out with that. So I've been staring at MetaHumans for almost a year now. Ever since they came out, I've been making MetaHuman videos. I've been working with MetaHumans, making MetaHuman movies. So I know a couple of tricks on trying to figure out what is real and what is not. So when I watch this demo here, granted, I could be wrong, but I was able to pick out the real Keanu Reeves versus the CGI Keanu Reeves. So with that being said, let's take a look. See if this is in. Alright, we're playing it in HD. And I'm glad I'm not the only one dealing with compression here. Hi, I'm Thomas Anderson. This is clearly like many CGI of you, I right work here. With computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors. Reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make. Okay, so this one right here, this is the real Keanu Reeves. The worlds we build, they also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this over that. Is this still the real one? Why we want to make X instead of Y. Where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill. And I show you how I can't believe this dude is 56, 57 years old. That's crazy, man. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? Such a good Morpheus. For instance. All right, so this is when he swaps over to the meta human. Watch his movements here. So I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. Granted, this is pretty darn good, but this is clearly CG. That it was important for me to ask people. And that lip sync we were going to talk about here shortly. How do we? This is not the real Keanu. We know. All right, so his eyes really pops out to me as a meta human. His lips right here, as you can see, is not as chapped as the real Keanu. So this is at two minutes in one. All right, so look, if you look, two minutes in one, look at this. Those lips, this is the real one. And if you go to 201, this is the fake one. Although it is really good. Now, he was actually photo scanned. If I read this correctly in an article, he was photo scanned. So he wasn't created entirely in the meta human creator. He was photo scanned. Him and Trinity, they were both photo scanned for this shot. So this is beautiful still. But this is clearly a meta human. What is real? And now you got the real one. And the only reason why I know this is the real one right off the bat, because right now, I know this ha the hair they're using here is probably not groom, because that it, it just doesn't look like it's groom. It looks nice. And there's just something about it that I don't think it's groom hair. But with the current metahumans right now, we can't do reflections. If this is a metahuman in a real metahuman with groom hair, he would be bald. And I'll show you that in my project here, my, my most recent short film that I made, and I'll have the project open. And if you look right here, I have two meta humans. And as you can see on the right, she has hair, but on the reflections, she's bald. And that's because groom, as far as I know, is not compatible with reflections. So I knew right off the bat that this one was a real one. So nice try, Epic. Ago, I first played the character of Thomas Anderson. And, and again, if you look at his lips, he has a lot more texture in there, and that's very important. Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneer digital cinema. And I'm gonna pause this right here. This guy right here is clearly a meta human. Watch his neck. The meta humans have a neck problem, and you see that here. Matrix trilogy. We'll play it again. Watch his neck. Cinema. Uh, I see that all the time and it's so hard to correct that and I'm glad I'm not the only one who was having issues with that but that is another sign of a meta human right there that neck problem right there with shots and obviously he's also a meta human because you can tell he's probably not even an LOD zero which is the highest level of a meta human I don't think like bullet time back then we talked a lot and you can also see in the shadows look at his with foot shots, like bullet time He's actually, if you look at his foot, he's actually not contacting the ground there. 
back. He's floating then a little we bit. We talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry. Okay, and this right here is a meta human. Again, we're back to that shot. Where actors have tried to remain perpetually young. And again, well, we wondered about obviously, faces he's he's definitely a meta a meta human or a CG. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. Twenty years ago, we asked ourselves how long. And I'm just gonna pause this here because this is cool. <laughs> like, these are probably like all fifty template meta humans. But what's cool about this is look at all the clothes they were wearing. That kind of gives me hope that one day we're gonna get something similar. Because this is nice. So that's really cool that we have all those clothes. These could be changed as easily and, they, and they look good. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality And again, this is CG. When a world we can build feels as real as our own. Okay. So that's pretty much it as far as breaking down what's real and what isn't. So right now there's still CG. So what I'm going to talk about next is the facial animation that's used on this. Now, this is not the same exact technique that they used, but I think it's very similar, and that's called 4D. Now, I'm gonna go to another video and show you how this kind of works. I mean, if I'm right, this is how, similar to how they should have done this, because again, this is some superb facial animation in this demo, best I've seen in a hot minute. All right, so what I'm gonna do is show you this video right now of R3DS Wrap 4D. Is this kind of, I think, how the 4D and how they made the Matrix facial animation? That's crazy good. It looks like it's a lot of manual work, so I wouldn't suggest using this for like a VTuber or something like that. This is like really probably meant for high quality CG movies or a demo like y'all saw. Because this is, I can only, it's probably time consuming doing this. And again, here it is on a CG head mesh and it looks freaking amazing. Now, maybe one day it would get easier as far as the process goes, but this is, I probably won't even see this type of tool. I'm probably not gonna be able to use this tool anytime soon because this is the real thing here. But that's why it's so good. Crazy, man, crazy. Bananas. Really. Crazy man. Okay, so that's kind of like the 4D thing. And funny enough, Jello from Facegood posted this a couple of days ago. It looks like they're actually developing 4D facial motion capture. And this is the demo that I saw on Linked. I don't think this is out yet. I just saw the video. It says Facegood P2 4D Raw. So you do have companies kind of trying this and developing these 4D facial motion capture. But then again, like I said, I'm probably not going to be able to play around with these. But it's just kind of nice to see what, where the technology is going because this is truly incredible. But pretty much it seems like this is the same exact thing that I just showed you, but this is face goods with their P2 camera here. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. I hope I helped you all out on trying to determine what is real and what is not. And I was able to show you, I think, on how I think the facial animation was made in that Matrix Awakened demo. If you want to check out my most recent MetaHuman short film, go ahead and check it out in the description below. I do have an Indiegogo crowdfunding going on right now. I think it's a pretty cool short film. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And like always, thanks for watching.